here. Oh my God! Oh, it's an accident. Oh, you're filming it. Too. July 6, 2013, 11:28 a.m. Oh my God! Ashiana Flight 214 crashes on oh final God. approach in San Francisco. Within oh moments, the calls start pouring into 911. Now, an emergency. What are you reporting? Hi, I'm reporting an airplane crash at uh, SFO. An airplane um, crash at SFO. Of the 307 people on board, nearly 200 are taken to local hospitals. The injuries ranging from bruises and broken bones to serious spinal injuries. So it was like we were all bouncing all over the place. I just remember there being dust everywhere and I was freaking out and then it just stopped. From the very beginning, it seemed clear that the Boeing 777 was flying too low and too slow as it no came in for landing. Yeah, there was no wind, no fog. I'm a regular of the San Francisco airport and I've seen it in a much tougher condition to land. So yeah, it's, it, it, it was so shocking that we could miss the runway by so much. The plane clipped a seawall just short of the runway and then spun violently, breaking into pieces. There was chaos on the ground, with passengers running from the plane as emergency crews arrived. These pictures show you the devastating aftermath inside the plane, with rows of seats dislodged from the cabin floor. Three passengers died, one of whom was run over by fire trucks involved in the rescue. There's a body right there, right in front of you. Now, a year later, the National Transportation Safety Board has officially blamed the crash on the pilots. Investigators determined they inadvertently deactivated the plane's system for controlling airspeed. In this instance, the flight crew over-relied on automated systems that they did not fully understand. As a result, they flew the aircraft too low and too slow and collided with the seawall at the end of the runway. And on top of it, it was determined the pilots failed to monitor the speed, a basic skill required of all captains. But some of the blame was also directed toward the complexity of the 777's automatic controls, something Boeing rejected, citing the plane's safety record. Before last year, in fact, no 777 had been involved in a fatal crash, though the 777 is the same plane operated by Malaysian Airlines that went missing in March. What happened with the crash here at SFO and the Malaysian airliner could not be any more different. In San Francisco, the main cause is now clear. With Flight 370, still no one knows. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.